patients from varying units. Actually, they need to carry the patients from the unit down to the 10th AGH at Malacca and uh, hope they get better. Some did, some didn't. Now, that's, uh, at that point, it's clear that you're in support of the Australian troops. When did the super... Sorry. We were, at that point, with the Australian troops, but we were also attached or nominated to be attached to the 3rd Indian Corps and the Malay, uh, sorry, uh, we had to Malay, do a Malay unit and we did the Indian Corps and we did the Gordon and Sutherland Highlanders. Uh, 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 Gordon and Sutherland Highlanders. Was it Gordon and Sutherland or Argyle? And Sutherland. Oh dear. You Gordon's are on their own and the Argyle and Sutherland's are together. That's right. Uh, both. Mm. And yeah. We also had to do our own. So there, there were units around that were say whatever. There were the nineteenth or twentieth. 29th Battalion, 30th Battalion, we used to have to go and carry their people from the RAP. I went, went and for a few weeks up to the Pay Corps where I looked after their RAP and had once or twice per week there'd be a, an MO come along to check out that I was still around, I suppose. I had lots of ice cream there because the, the, the native who rode around on his little bicycle always had a big bucket of ice cream out the front. Mm -hmm. Didn't cost much. What was the field ambulance? Do you know what the field ambulance was doing while you were well, doing that, this? Yeah, well, it's two, two entirely different jobs, of course. Mm -hmm. um, we, the field ambulance served and was right on the dock. Mm -hmm. They were there behind the, the, the battalions. And, and uh, it was supposed to be that we picked up from them and carried them to the CCS. Mm. But this didn't happen. Mm. We finished up in many instances, right. most instances, and being the ones furthest up the line anyway. And uh, lots of our fellows were, um, one section, particularly our section, um, 25 ambulances was uh, up at, uh, um, up at the border of Siam as it was then and uh, Malaya and uh, were the first uh, Australian troops into or Australians unit into action and that was on the day because of the international dateline being where it was and the Japs bombing on the 8th at Pearl Harbor and attacked on the 7th, but it's still at the same time. So, yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. They were, it was supposed to be there. Now they were, the, the element which, you, you actually were not with the elements no, up there. No, I was, no. I was mm. involved with the evacuation of the 10th AGH from Malacca back to Singapore. Right. Lost that end. But the, the unit was three sections. Yes. Two sections had the light ambulances, the light Chevys, and one section had the big heavy, we call them meat carriers because they were fully, um, fully covered in. There were no flaps and no no airways or anything in them. So we had 75 ambulances, 25 of which were meat wagons as we turned them. Well, that's probably an opportune time to ask you, what is the actual establishment of a motor ambulance convoy? The, the, the CO, yeah, the, the officers? Oh, right, there are, there's a CO for the medical side. Yeah. There's a CO for the transport side. There were 13 members of the medical side, known as the medical wing, 
and the ASC side were 220, total 250. And I've only got 249 names. So, um, so in the transport side, of course, some of them would be mechanics to keep the... Oh yes, there was a workshop. Mm. And normally there would, there would have been um, 75 drivers. So between 75 and uh, maybe a hundred or more uh, ancillaries like headquarters and and uh, the uh, well, you've got stores and, yeah, and the cooks, cooks and the clacks, bottle washers and and the uh, there was a quite a big section of workshops. Mm. So that made up the 249 that I've got, 250 that was officially. How many vehicles? Uh, 75, 70. plus, plus the mobile workshop. Yes. Of which I guess there'd be eight, there were a couple of four-wheel drives to getting, big four-wheel drives mm -hmm. to getting people or ambulances out of sticky situations. And what were the names of the CO, the officer commanding the, tr the transport and your medical officers? On the transport side, uh, Major Campbell, a large sized gentleman. There was uh, Major Dick of the Seattle of the lot, and uh, Captain Brennan was uh, from the medical side. There were other officers. One was a Captain Parsons, who was the adjutant, and well, good father. There were three different uh, uh, sergeants or staff sergeants or something or others uh, for each of the three sections there was uh, uh, one uh, lieutenant whom I forgot his name he was replaced by a, a young fella when we were right down at, uh, at uh, Malacca because the prior fella had gone haywire with his two six guns and, uh, and a little bit of sand soil. Uh, he was uh, shunted down to headquarters and never seen again. We don't know what happened to him. The lieutenant, was he medical corps or was he Transport. He was ASC. Yeah, right. We had uh, Captain Des Brennan, DJ Brennan, mm -hmm. as our uh, medical officer. Mm -hmm. And uh, a cracker bloke. Now, you, you did allude earlier to the, the section which was up on the border, or in fact over the border in Thailand. The A section. They're up there, as I understand it, in in support of an, an operation which had been planned called Operation Matador. Right. Now that's the area where Bobby Shoebridge was, wasn't yes. it? On about the yes. 7th or 8th of December. Yes. Uh, do you know much about what they did? Do you know, they, did they fall back with the Argyles or, and the they Third were, Corps? When yeah. they got, I hate the word, when they had as many uh, casualties as they could uh, with discomfort carry, they found that they had been side uh, surrounded. Mm. And they had to try, they had to get out and Captain Brennan did the rounds of some of the local rubber planters and found uh, a road, a secret roadway, a secret roadway, or a track that would get them out and from round, from behind the enemy lines, which they did. Uh, Captain Brennan led the way um, with uh, a couple of ambulances full of horribly hurt uh, fellas. Mm -hmm. And how many from 